car parts. Oh, no more. What's going on, boys? Uh, we got some side markers to install today. Uh, real quick, also, take a look at this backpack I got. I got this, um, this is gonna be my new filming backpack. These are actually like, uh, seat belts, the four point harness, uh, racing seat, like style seat belts. So this is gonna be my new filming backpack when I'm out shooting videos at car meets or whatever. Oh, I should also definitely water you, boy. I haven't watered you in a minute, man. I'm sorry. Beanie, are you excited? We got new car parts. Are you excited? Yeah, you sound really excited. Off to see the vet. Sadly, guys, as you can see, we got some snow on the ground. So no more Corvette for a couple months. I did not put this fully in storage yet, but I still got to clean it up a little bit. And uh, I bought a car cover. I think I think that's it over there. But uh, got to fix it up a little bit before we actually put it in storage. Look at those taillights, though. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, so here's our plan. We have these uh, tinted side markers. This is going to be the difference here. Um, there's the original ones, and then here's the tinted ones. How we have to install these is uh, first we need to take out the uh, taillights the end ones and then we actually need to reach in there and pop this out and then just pop it right back in it's super simple and then for the front ones i'm gonna need to turn the wheel but we need to take this liner and kind of pop this out a little bit reach in there and then just kind of pop the side marker out and then uh we should be good to go while we're here we should probably give it a cold start i think so yeah it's probably a good idea <laughs> It's only been like five or six days, but I missed this. It's gonna be a long winter without this car, guys. I'll tell you that much. Alrighty, so we're just gonna start in the front here. They say you're only young ones, young ones, but we live for it, we die for it, we live for it. All right, so this is the difference between the two. You can obviously tell that this one's uh, pretty tinted. I think that's gonna look nice. It's gonna look a lot more clean, I think. All you had to do here was uh, just pop the light out, just twist it and pop that out. And then I threw this back in here. Super, super, super simple. And uh, I think it's gonna make a big difference. I paid, I wanna say 50 or $55. So I mean, for 50 bucks, I think it's gonna make, make a really good difference. <laughs> So that looks pretty good. This is uh, this is one side, and this is the other side that we have yet to do. So it looks pretty good. Next up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the front side, the, this other one, move along to the back, and then after that, I'll turn it on, see how they look when they're turned on. Meet you at the hideout where we can dream again. I'll tell you all my secrets. We're encouraged like a second skin. So these are all in. That was an extremely, extremely easy install there. I would say even easier than the taillights, and those were pretty darn easy. Let's take a look at what we got here. So these actually look really good. Let's go to the other side where we got some more light. These look really good. They they look a lot more like you can't really see them see them as much as you as you could the other ones, obviously because these are blacked out. I think it gives it like a more of a clean look. Uh, let's take a look over here on the front. I think this looks a lot cleaner. Like you can really you can really even barely see that they're there. It's kind of dark in my garage. Let me see if I can throw some light on it. But uh, I think that looks really good. Uh, yeah, honestly, I mean no complaints. Let's turn the car on and see how they actually look when they're lit up. Hey, so those look pretty good. Yeah, I think it gives it a lot cleaner look. Take a look at this side. Nice. So, I want to see how these look in the back with those. Uh, okay, so it's, so it's just just a tiny little bit there. You really can't see much at all, to be honest with you. Take a look at those uh, back end halos that we got going on. Definitely the favorite, my favorite thing I've done to the car so far are these halo lights in the back. So I kind of bought these things on a whim, and I think if I were to go back and do it again, I would probably end up buying the LED strips. I still might do that. I mean, this was such an easy install. I could swap these out every single day and it wouldn't be an issue. But I would probably go for the LED strip ones. I think those would look better with the uh, rear end halos just because those are also LED. Kind of keep everything the same. Um, I think that would probably look a little bit better. But for right now, I mean, I think they look fine. And uh, I just kind of have the urge to do something to my car. It's snowing outside, and I just kind of want to get that 
you know, you guys know how it is when you put something new on your car and then, you know, it's an excitement. You get that adrenaline and you get that urge to do something more. So I kind of just wanted to do something to the car. So I finished up the project and we're back inside now. And I think this would be a good opportunity for me to give you guys a little bit of a room tour. If you guys remember a while ago, so I've lived in this house for about a half a year now. I moved in in August. So, uh, yeah, what is that? About five months, five months ago, I moved into this house. And when I gave you guys the original tour of this house, it was just blank walls, blank everything. But now since we moved in, uh, everything's here. So I'll give you guys a tour. So today we're just gonna do a tour of the room. If you guys do wanna see the whole house, let me know. But uh, today we're doing the room. Uh, when you walk in here, this is a kind of a small room. So I had to do what I could to make a uh, space available in this place and kind of use every ounce of space that I could find. So uh, it's a little cramped, but uh, here it is. Right when I walk in, you know, this is my, my door here that I come in here. Right to the left is my TV. Uh, moving down here, got my helmet that I uh, have yet to race with this helmet. The helmet I used to race a few, the, on the strip a few times that I have. Um, it's kind of, it was like my family's helmet. So uh, this is my own helmet now. This is pretty cool. I got a little transmitter on here. Don't know how to use this yet, but uh, I'm excited. You know, got the Xbox, some books, some uh, DVDs, the entire Fast and Furious collection, obviously. Um, right to the right here, I got my bed. Up here, just a few little shelves I got. The Lamborghini uh, McLaren. This is just like an unbranded thing. And then this is really cool. Uh, my brother got me this for Christmas. It is my car, so it's pretty cool. It's not an exact replica of my car. This is a 2007, mine's a 2006, but um, super cool. You guys should definitely get a model car of your own car. Right here, I've got a picture that I got at uh, Goodwill for like $5, it's, it's Chicago. And uh, my dirty, messy bed, don't mind that. Um, over to the left here, this is my closet. This is very crammed, so... Uh, Kind of had to hang things on the wall and do what I could here. It's very messy. Sorry about that. This is like my room is over the stairs. So this is like the stairs. So I kind of got robbed with a lot of space right there. So I had to do what I could. I really had to downsize a ton of clothes and to throw a bunch of stuff away. I'm not like the type of person to have a ton of clothes. Um, you know, I, you guys see me probably wearing the same hoodies and a lot of, a lot of the same stuff in videos and things like that, but I still had to like, just throw out, like, like give away or give to family or something as much stuff as I could. Cause there is not a lot of room in there. I got these four cool little car pictures. I got these on Amazon. It's like a set. So I thought that I would uh, throw that up, you know, add a little something to the room. Uh, this is my desk here. This is where I do, where I edit videos, where I do homework, pretty much anything that I would ever need to do is here. Uh, this is my view from my window. It's my neighbor's house and uh, pretty uh, pretty just whatever view uh, This is the ring light. I bought this thing for like 30 bucks, maybe like 25 and uh, it's actually useful for a lot of videos It's got um, I got this on Amazon. Let's see if we can oh, start this up here. It's got a bunch of different kinds of lights So I can do different like highlighting or whatever I need to do. I don't know anything about lighting and then Goes up and down, does it? Yeah, goes up and down, so that's pretty cool. Put these hooks on the wall for both the backpacks. This is my school one, and this is my filming one. Um, got my little bamboo guy here. Uh, this painting, this is, this is actually really interesting. So this is a painting done. My friend gifted this to me, but he got it from an artist that was, that, that has been like exiled from the United States. I don't know what the, I don't know if exiled is the right term. Like this isn't, like we're not a kingdom, but. Uh, she no longer lives in the United States because she fled the country. So yeah, that's uh, that's the art um, This is my big whiteboard here. I put all like my goals here Maybe what I need to do for the day wrote out some stuff for 2021 uh, What I want to do down here more books uh, Pretty much all school books on that side um, That's pretty much it. I uh, this is a pretty small room one thing I will show you guys down here if you look up so every every morning when I wake up I I really enjoy doing YouTube. I really do. And I want to make a life out of this. I want to make a career out of this. So one of the goals that I have is to reach a million subscribers. I know that that sounds silly right now because I don't even have a thousand subscribers right now, but I know one day I'll do it. And I put this goal right above my uh, uh, ceiling here. So every day when I wake up, I don't know if you can really see that very well, but it says a million, a million subscribers. And then I have a quote above it, which is one of my favorite quotes. It says, wishing every day for something doesn't count as dedication by uh, 
Ryan Carveo. So basically, every single day when I wake up, bam, I'm looking right up there at that goal. And then I try to do everything in my power in that day to try to achieve that goal. So uh, yeah, that's a little uh, tidbit, I guess. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, comment down below what you thought about uh, the new carports we got in tonight. I know it wasn't much, but uh, I'd still love to hear your opinion. My name is Caleb, and I will make sure to see each and every one of you in the next one.